Whoa, there's a big gust. There's a massive gust. Woo! Over two kilowatt. Sorry, Cody's just come out in the shed. Hello, Cody. Greetings, YouTube. It's just ticked over to the 13th of March, 2023, and it's going to be very stormy tonight. I'd say the wind's about 18 to 20 at the minute. Just wanted you to get a bit of the noise. In. Sun out on the camera. Right, this is the best we're going to get for now. I don't have anything running via the inverter, uh, and the problem is the batteries don't really want to hold charge over 24 volts. You'll notice this display on the right is the inverter. Uh, so if I put a 60 watt load on the inverter, which is a light, you'll see a little load thing coming there on the bottom right. And if I disconnect it, let me just turn the actual light off a second. Hang on, we need to reset the meter. Just gonna reset this, 12 o'clock. gone okay so you can see the clock in the top left hand corner now I'm just wondering about what to do with the lighting I might turn this light off a minute so yeah basically it's just gone midnight uh, I've just reset the meter got no load on the inverter yet but what I'm hoping to see is the battery display on the right go all the way up to the top uh, that battery display is obviously for the inverter the one on the right and the one for the turbine is the one on the left so yeah, that's 12 midnight, and we'll be back in a bit, and we'll keep an eye on what the meter's saying. Sweet. That's a gust. That is a gust. Twenty-three minutes in, we're just about to go over 100 watt hours, which isn't a major achievement, but we are keeping a record of it. So jolly good. Still about 20 mile an hour, I think. Here comes the wind. Here comes the wind. Just past the half hour mark, there you go. 139 watt hours. And then it's getting pretty windy, so 20, 25 miles per hour. Sweet. So we're 40 minutes in and we're on 197 watt hours and counting. Sweet. Coming up to the one hour mark, bit of a gust. So there you go, that's the one hour mark, 285 watt hours. I'll keep a note of that. I think the wind speed's about 25 miles an hour. It's supposed to hit 40 at 2 a.m. It's 1 a.m. now. Sweet! Right, my friends, we're an hour and a half into the experiment. The wind's starting to come on strong in gusts. Uh, more interested in that power, 434. Uh, the 1 a.m. mark, it was on 286, so it's made 148 watt hours in half an hour. So that means we're averaging about 296 watt hours. I thought you might find that interesting. The wind is due to start getting up shortly, but the turbine's working pretty well. Seen it go over one kilowatt a few times. Haven't heard any unusual noises. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep on rocking. Uh, good to have the clock there so we can keep track of everything. Sweet, so far so good, my friends, so far so good. Just to quickly mention, I'm not running anything at the minute. Uh, because I want to give the batteries a good thrashing to get them uh, as full as we can. Uh, it seems easier for the turbine to go over 25, 26 volts now, so maybe all that power's going in there, it might give them a bit of a kick up the arse. See you at 2 a.m. Sweet! Yo, it's just about to hit 500 watt hours, which I think is pretty cool after just over 1 hour 40 minutes. So we're just going to get that on camera and make a note of it. It's running so well at the minute. There you go, so that's 500, and we'll call it 1 minute 41. Sorry, 1 hour 41 minutes. Okay, but you can see it's really starting to stick in the juice, nice. Sweet! Uh, we'll come back at 2 a.m. and see how it's going, but as you can see, it's looking very good at the minute. Sweet! It's 2 a.m., my friends, and it started howling. And we're on, excuse me, we are on 668. I'm just gonna make a note of that. So we made 382 watts in the last hour, that's pretty good. 286 in the first hour, 382 in the second hour. I've just kept a note there of some of the biggest 
watt numbers that I've seen. And we'll, we'll just stick with it a minute, see if it goes near a kilowatt, which it has been doing a lot. I made a note of what time it hit 500 watts, and I'm going to make a note of what time it hits 1 kilowatt and 2 kilowatt. But yeah, it's running very well, and we're at 2 minutes past 2 in the morning. Thank you, Casio. Whoa, there's a big gust. There's a massive gust. Woo! Over 2 kilowatt. Sorry, Cody's just come out in the shed. Hello, Cody. So yeah, we're soon going to see that 1 kilowatt total energy uh, appear by the looks of it. The way it's going, sorry about the noise. See you in a bit, five past two. What are you doing, Cody? <laughs> You're looking after me, you the guard dog. <laughs> right, it's coming up to 3 a.m. So we'll call that 898. So that means in the last half an hour, it's made 230. So we're clocking an average of 460 watt hours per hour, which I'm actually, I think is actually really good. I will need to go get some sleep at some stage, in which case I will then load up the inverter and that will probably reduce the overall amount of watt hours we get. But we're actually starting to get some good voltages as well. Sweet. We're at the two hour 43 mark. And she's a going very well indeed. Uh, we're just gonna wait so I can make a note of the time it hits one kilowatt. We'll come back in a minute. Hey, there's the kilowatt hour, we'll call it. Two minutes 45, sorry, two hours 45 minutes. You know what I mean. We started at zero, zero, zero. Sweet. Right, it's coming up to 3 a.m., uh, three hours in. And we are on 10.86. Give me a second. So between two and three a.m. we made uh, 418 watt hours, which I think is pretty awesome. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the 400 watt, sorry, 500 watt security light into the inverter so it'll go dark temporarily and we'll see what the power uh, does. So now it's running a 500 watt load. Let's see what it does. It's obviously going to have a struggle to get up to the higher voltages, but that's fine. lovely and warm on my hands. There's some beautiful free heat coming from there. 500 watts of free heat. But we can see the voltage on this. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just leave this uh, 500 watt light and I'll come back at three o'clock, uh, sorry, four o'clock, and come back, see how it's doing. But so far, so good if it's running a 400 watt light and uh, it's still putting in a kilowatt. Sweet! Uh, it's quarter past three, and whoops, it's quarter past three, and this 500 watt light, which chucks out masses of heat, which feels beautiful on my hand, that's been on for 15 minutes. Yeah, it's controlling things quite nicely, we'll stick with it. And what we should see is we'll get a gust and that'll top the battery up. And then the 500 watt is quite a big drain on it. There you go, and it's just going to potter along like that. The screen with the load on the side, which is on two because of the 500 watt light. 16 minutes past three and we'll... Uh, Leave that 500 watt light on for a few hours and I'll keep coming back and filling you in on uh, the accumulative power that it's made. Sweet! Yo, well, this is a good time to come back at you. The 500 watt security light has been on for near enough a whole hour. We put it on at, at 3 o'clock. Uh, so what's happening is the battery voltage is dropping quite low. But I'm just going to stick with it so you can see how the battery uh, fills itself up again when there's a decent gust. 
I need to go get some sleep, so I'm happy to know that the battery voltage is going to be on the lower side and it'll just be a continuous cycle. So that's 1463. So the last hour running the 500 watt dump load, it made 377 watt hours. But you can see when we get some uh, nice power in, the battery voltage does go back up. And as it's a 500 watt drain. But yeah, so I've made a note of all the readings and the 500 watt load is gonna get left on uh, all night. There's a gust, I don't know if it'll pick it up. We can see very good uh, power coming in, especially considering that 500 watt drain, but it is very windy. Uh, same gust into 40 miles an hour for the next uh, few hours. So hopefully we'll make some good power. I'm signing off for now, sweet. So just a reminder, the 500 watt light is staying on while I go and rest. Let's gust. Whoa, she's a ripping, she's a ripping. 51 amps, woo. The 500 watt light is still running, sweet, and it's lovely and warm. 4.13 a.m. The power's clocking up pretty nicely. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. Cheers.